Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's explore the Unity Asset Store for a third time. So, as you guys know, if you've seen the previous few episodes, I like to look for things on the Unity Asset Store, and there's tons of fantastic things. And this time we're going to look at a couple of what you would call maybe characters or NPCs. So, the first one I'm going to look at is, well, let's type it. It's going to be called SD martial arts and i like this one because it reminds me a lot of world of final fantasy and you can probably tell why just by looking at this little icon here so as always disclaimer i've been paid for nothing here uh this is all assets that i have looked and found and i like myself um if you are the owner of any of these assets then please comment and yeah if you want to have a look at any more from this particular creator please please do so here so i'm going to go back to my scene view and i've brought in here and we can see a couple of different things and it's great because it's got a couple of animations which are already built in and we can extract those animation files to kind of make it work a little bit better ourselves uh only thing i did notice with this one uh from time to time there may be at least some of the models there are a couple which could do with uh, importing and then applying the skin to themselves. Uh, if we go into this one though, there is a couple of prefabs. Uh, so we can see here, this particular prefab has the uh, skin already attached. And as I say, I, I like this one a lot because it, it's very reminiscent of World of Final Fantasy. And obviously if you've seen that game, you will know exactly what I'm on about here. So I'm just going to bring it into the center of the screen there. Oops. Helps if we zero everything out, doesn't it? And let's have a look at the camera. Should probably bring the camera in and rotate so we can see it a little bit better. So, perfect. Now, it's not exactly the most detailed object, but you can see how the animation is working quite nicely here. And with this prefab, you can... You can see that it's kind of doing that and I'm actually pressing the uh, arrow keys and whatever here so you can see what's happening. So it's kind of already pre-built with these definitions in. So if you're aiming for that sort of style of game then I absolutely do recommend this one. There's tons of animations here. You can see here it's, it's absolutely fantastic. The I really love the style of this one. So with the right lighting, right shading, right uh, post-processing effects you can get something looking pretty awesome. So the next one I'm going to take a look at in the asset store is if we type in Red Samurai. Now, if you've seen some of my previous tutorials that I do, uh, you'll notice that I have used this one before and I do like this one quite a bit. If by chance you fancy taking a look at anything else here, please do. You can see it's rated four stars, 392. That's pretty decent for what it is. And it's free. Free is always good. Uh, let's have a new scene. Don't want to save that one. And if we go to character pack, that's what it comes under. And there we go. And we can also see scene two is already nice pre-built. So let's press play. And we can see here the different animations that we can use. So there's the attack. Brilliant. And if we look in there, we can see the different animations. So let's have a look here. Let's try and bring in the walk animation. So if we bring in that to our animation there, Let's press play. There's the walking animation. So yeah, if you've seen, I think it's my RPG series, you'll know I used this one previously. And I like this one because it's simple. It's got the five different things you would need, at least for a simple NPC or follower, perhaps. Um, let's have idle. So we can take a look at that animation. Perfect. And the same with run. Let's have a look at that run animation. Brilliant. So a lot of these assets that you do come across will have this little scene here. So it's already like a quick little pre-built scene. Uh, another great thing, if we go to the texture, we could, for example, so if we have a look at our um, NPC here, we can see the materials attached. And you don't necessarily have to keep it looking as it is. I mean, for example, we could change the shader to a standard shader and we can see how that's having an effect. And if we take that, we see this is the albedo here. 
and we could in fact let's have a little play let's let's modify some assets and see how this pans out this is something i've not actually pre-planned so let's see how this turns out normal map grayscale apply and let's try applying this just to see how it looks now you can see it's got a bit more detailed so this is how i like these things so let's try it again with this one let's set this to standard and let's duplicate and create a normal map and grayscale and apply so this is the idea of a lot of assets in the asset store take them and modify them in a way you like you don't necessarily have to keep them as standard i can see the face is a little bit warped there a bit ghoulish so already we've maybe created a possible enemy out of the same npc and this is definitely something worth doing and we can obviously play around with the metallicness it's like we've almost created somebody completely different here so i would recommend playing around at least to some degree now the next one i'm going to move on to is it's from a creator that we have used previously within this little series that we've got going and i'm going to look up tune r t s and obviously let's stick with free for now and we have when it finally loads uh, something which I quite like. It's nice and simple, um, but it has. Here we are. Let's go on to this one. Uh, I've already brought it in here. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I, I like this one because it's simple, but I like the art style of it quite a bit, especially if I'm going for that style of game. So, again, please, please, please take a look at some of the other assets these creators have got because some of them are absolutely fantastic. And again, if you are any of these creators that I've featured in this series, Please let me know because I wish to congratulate you personally because I, I love some of these assets. So if we head over here, create a new scene and to an RTS demo models and we can see here, there we go. And if we look, we've got some great animations here and we can anticipate that these animations aren't exactly going to work as they are, but depending on how you develop a game, you can use them like this. I tend to take these uh, animations and uh, manipulate them of my own accord. Um, so if I bring the camera into position, bring it in front and rotate, you can see, so if we press play, is just in the generic T pose. However, if we take uh, the actual character itself, let's remove the animator remove the component, and let's take this heavy charge animation, hold control, press D, let's uh, separate it, and drag and drop onto the knight himself, and let's press play. We can see that. This is how the animations can work and obviously you don't necessarily have to use it in animator you can use animation to give you a bit more control and there's a couple of different animations that we can use here so if we take this one and apply and press play has that changed um let me remove that component and re-add that in see this is why i prefer to use um animation rather than animator because you get different uh, outcomes and Anim animation gives you a lot more control over what you're doing so as i see here we've another animation for him so we've got the running we've got idle uh, this one here is walking and this one will be attack so let's have a quick look at the attack so let's duplicate that one and separate remove our animator and bring that one in and press play let's have a quick look so perfect so that one doesn't uh, loop, obviously, because, well, you, again, it's the whole animation thing. But don't forget, if we go into models, materials, we can always modify whatever we've got. So we may like the look of him now, but let's have a, a good look at that good old normal map. So if we duplicate the texture into normal map, grayscale, apply, and then apply that to our actual um, material. So if we go to standard, maybe you can see it's changed there, but let's apply normal map. So you can see it's a bit more gritty and don't forget, you can always change the bumpiness of a normal map so it doesn't look quite so bad. So let's increase that a little, 
that was good. And we can increase the metallic look of him, the smoothness, decrease the smoothness maybe to about there. And let's have the albedo a bit darker, maybe a bit red. So you can see you're creating different characters all the time just by a couple of little modifications. You can change the normal map there like so. Yeah, there's loads of different things you can do. So I, I like the art style of this one. A lot of the assets that this creator is making, I do like the art style of, and I would recommend them. So uh, we've covered three different NPCs here, and obviously I recommend exploring asset store as much as you can because there is massive amounts to see. It is truly astonishing what you can find. And as I say, it's always good to take an asset and modify it in a way you see fit. Because, like I say, applying the normal map it can really make a difference on how a character looks. It just depends what sort of effect you want for your game. So, uh, next time, what I think we're going to look at is we'll look at some animals. Now, there's loads of different animals that we can see from things like butterflies to tigers. And there are some which I think are especially nice, especially for if you're just getting into developing. I mean, there's, there's, there's obviously different things that you can do. You don't necessarily have to have any of these but what i do like is a lot of these assets that have that sample scene because i feel the sample scene helps more than anything because it, you can actually see what can happen with the character what is possible with the character and again you can see i'm holding down the buttons here and this sample scene is already set so this prefab works quite nicely so again if you fancy any of these uh, assets i'll leave the links in the description below and guys thank you very much for watching